Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Saturday again. The sun is shining outside. I'm inside where it's a little warmer. Um, can't wait to be back outside whenever we can read outside in the sunshine, maybe sit in the grass. But for today, I decided to be inside again um, because spring isn't all the way here, but it's getting close. Um, today, I chose a book that's a little bit longer for little people, but I like the contrast in the photos in it. Um, it's a great example of how you can choose a book that is good for different age levels. You can um, take a book that seems maybe to be a little bit more advanced than what your little one might enjoy, maybe a little too many words, um, but you can modify it down and go through and talk to about different um, aspects of the book when they're little. And then as they grow, you can go back and reread it over and over and add in more and talk about more details in the book. So the book that I am going to share with you today, and we're just gonna, again, um, just give an example of how you can pull out so many things in a story for little people. And we don't always know what all they're picking up, but it can be simple and it can be more complicated. They just love to hear the tone of your voice. They are listening to the inflection in your words as you're reading and as you're speaking to them. Um, so keep talking to them, keep singing to them. Um, but we're just gonna enjoy this book with our little people today and it's called Seeds Move. So Seeds Move by Robin Page. And if you look in the picture, there are different animals and different seeds. So we're gonna see what we can enjoy and how this book relates to spring and what's going on outside um, with the spring season. Seeds move. And again, like I said, the bright contrast, the bright colors on the white background or the darker contrast with the white. A tiny seed can come one day, can one day become a flower, a fruit, or even a giant tree. Every seed Big or small contains the beginning of a new plant, but a seed needs sunlight, soil, and water, and an up or uncrowded place to put down roots. To find all these things, a seed must leave home. It must move. A seed sometimes hitchhikes. Spiky. Seed, stick tight seeds snag on a raccoon's fur. Do you see the raccoon? His big eyes and his nose and his whiskers. And stuck on his tail are some stick tight seeds. So animals sometimes carry, carry seeds around. A seed can shoot. Did you know seeds can shoot? A human touch or a passing animal, a gust of wind. The slightest jostle can send exploding cucumber seeds shooting from their pods into the air. These are cucumber plants and the pod is shooting seeds. Shoo, shooting seeds into the air. Where are they going to land? A seed can catapult when the time comes the hanging seed pods of the touch-me-not flower burst open. Do you see the seed pod? And when it gets dried up, a lot of plants do this. When the seed pod dries up, the seeds spread, burst out and they land in different spots. And if they're left alone, sometimes they will sprout and become their own brand new plant. A seed can drift. Whoa, does that look like a seed? Look at this big brown thing floating. Is it floating in the water? Oh, there's, what is that? There's a turtle. The coconut, a huge seed of the palm tree. Do you see those little coconuts hanging from the tree? The coconut um, seed drifts in the ocean. If it is lucky, it will wash on to the shore in a perfect spot and become a brand new tree. So there's another kind of seed, a coconut seed. 
See, it's got a little green shoot coming out. The turtle is curious. He's coming to see what's going on. Here are some little ants. Seeds can burrow. Do you see this burrow down in the ground? There's an ant down in the hole. Do you see that? Attached to the bloodroot seed is a tasty tidbit that ants love to eat. The seed tricks the ants into dragging it into their underground burrows. So they're going to eat the coating off of the seed. And then they think they're storing food away for later. So they drag it down into their burrow. There, the ants eat the snack and then burrow the remaining seed. What do you think is going to happen after they burrow it? Bury it down in their burrow? I think it's going to become a new plant. And a seed can roll. One kind of African grass seed looks and smells like the droppings of an antelope. Dung beetles eat animal droppings and these seeds fool the beetles into rolling them back to their underground homes where, this, where, they, um, where the seeds can begin to grow. So the dung beetle's gonna push it back to its home and bury it and inside are seeds that it is going to sprout and grow a new plant. Sometimes a seed can stick, sink. A lotus seed drops from the pod and sinks to the bottom of the plant. Po sorry, the bottom of the pond. There it can nestle in the mud and sprout into a brand new lotus flower. So this is actually the seed pod of this pretty pink lotus. And when the seeds get dry, they drop from the pot fall into the water and sink until um, they sprout into new plants. A seed hides. A western scrub jay collects an acorn, the seed of an oak tree, and carries it in its beak to a distant place. The jay then hides the acorn to eat later, burying it down in the ground. But the jay often forgets where it put some of its acorns and these seeds may become new oak trees. See the blue bird? Is he digging in the ground and he's burying acorns down in the ground? And they're gonna grow. Some of them will grow into new plants. Great big oak trees start out from a tiny little acorn. Just like you little person started out so tiny and new like little Miss Emmeline, and she's gonna grow and grow. Good morning, Kaylee and Emmeline. A seed can float. Do you know seeds can float? Do you know what this is? Hmm, what is that? Look at these interesting things hanging from the tree. What do you think this is? This is called monkey ladder seeds. Monkey ladder. They drop from their huge pods landing in the water and then they float on the river, even across the sea sometimes, till they root on a faraway shore. Do you know this is a hippopotamus? Do you see him? He likes to swim in the water. Hippopotamus. That's a big word. A seed can squirt. A durian is one of the orangutan's favorite fruits, but its seeds are bitter. So the orangutan eats the fruit and then squirts out the seeds. What do we squirt out? Sometimes we eat, do you ever eat watermelon that has seeds in it? Do you spit those seeds out? Do you think maybe those seeds are gonna land and start, we can grow into a new plant? A seed scatters. Oh, there's a tiny little mouse. Do you see the tiny little mouse? His tiny little ears and his tail, his little beady eyes. He's tiny compared to this great big orangutan, isn't he? Yeah, there's a tiny little mouse. The spiny mouse nibbles on the fruit of, this, of the taily weed, but the seeds of this fruit taste terrible. 
So the mouse spits them out and scatters them all over. See, he's eating the fruit of this plant, but like the orangutan who didn't like the taste of the seeds, this mouse is also spitting out the seeds and leaving them all over the place and they will become new plants. When you have time, you should go outside and see some new plants popping up, maybe some flowers. We've got some flowers that are starting to grow um, and some flowers that are starting to bloom outside. So go find those and smell them and um, watch them um, grow larger. A seed can fall. An unlucky mouse eats a wheat seed, then gets snatched up by a hungry hawk. After the hawk eats the mouse, it coughs up a pellet. Along with the undigested wheat seed, the pellet falls to the ground where the seed can sprout. See the mouse is eating seeds. See the big hawk? His big claws help him to hang on to the branch. A seed parachutes, ooh, sort of like a dandelion. When a milkweed pod splits open, it releases hundreds of seeds. Each tiny seed is attached to silken threads that parachute in the wind, carrying the seed far away. Just like a dandelion. When you bl blow on a dried dandelion that has gone to seed, you can scatter those seeds all over. A seed plunges. The seed pod of the red mangrove plunges into the water. The pod will drift away, then it will settle to the bottom of the marsh and put down roots. Do you see this one? Here it is in the tree, and when it dries, it drops into the water, and it gradually will settle down into the ground and burrow down and start to grow and send out a new shoot, and then we're going to have a new branch of the man mangrove. A seed can helicopter. Do you know what a helicopter is? It spins around and around and around. The seeds of a yangna tree helicopter spin spinning as they fall. They will end up some distance from their parent tree. What kind of trees do we have around here? Do we have maple trees that make little helicopter seed pods that when they fall, um, they put out lots of seeds. For oh, what is this? Do you see this? Here's a bear, a bear, a hungry brown bear eats brown ash berries and other fruits. As the bear wanders in search of more food, the undigested seeds plop out inside large piles of the bear's poo. Did you know seeds can scatter like that too? When animals eat seeds and they don't digest everything, And then a seed grows. We can also move seeds and grow. Farmers and gardeners all over the world plant seeds. You can too. You can tuck a watermelon seed down into the earth and watch and see what happens. It's going to slowly push up with part of the seed pod still on it. It's going to grow bigger and you'll see two little leaves and it'll push off the seed pod. Then it will grow even larger and put out more leaves. And gradually it'll have a long vine and grow a watermelon. Who likes watermelon? Oh my goodness, look how big the watermelon grew. Isn't that fabulous? And now is the perfect time of year. Oh, there's the little watermelon for all the children who plant seeds. So that's a lot of fun. And spring, let's see here, spring is a perfect time to go out and plant some seeds with daddy and mommy and watch them grow and see what happens. You can maybe plant a garden or plant some flowers. 
Um, but just go have fun digging in the dirt and planting and see what comes up. So get outside again, enjoy some fresh air and some sunshine. Take a walk around your yard. If you're out in the country, take a walk down the road. Um, just enjoy some time together and just look, look at nature and the many things that are happening. Watch the trees to see um, what's happening with the leaves on the trees um, and the flowers on your bushes and your plants. Um, but enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you next Saturday. Thanks for joining today. Bye.